Is post frame construction the same as post and beam construction? Well, we're going to talk about that today, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. If you're interested in tractors, post frame construction, and homesteading, well, then you've come to a good place. Why not subscribe, tap the bell, and join in on the conversation? When I started building my barn, I told my brother, I'm building a post frame barn. And he wrote back and said, I like post and beam construction. And since then, I've heard a lot of people use post frame construction and post and beam construction as if they're one and the same. And they're not. I did a little homework on this subject so that I can give you some basic understanding between the two types of structures. First of all, if I've got a purist out there that understands post and beam construction, let me just say that I'm not going to talk about post beam versus timber frame construction today. We're going to be talking about posts and beams where they're butted together and held together by steel plates. First thing we want to look at is how these different types of buildings are anchored to the ground. Traditionally, post frame construction uses posts that go into the soil, usually about four feet deep depending on the area of the country you're at, and then they're backfilled, sometimes partially with concrete or just with dirt. A lot of these systems now include plastic sleeves or other mechanisms in order to separate the posts from the soil and prevent deterioration. Some post frame construction is done by concrete filling piers and then putting rebar brackets down inside of them or using masonry walls either with bolt down or rebar into wet concrete in order to secure the post frame structure. Post and beam construction is very similar to those latter ways of doing it. Either to concrete piers with brackets on them or a slab that's got footers and totally reinforced. And actually that's the closest that post frame and post beam are to each other is when those latter methods of securing the buildings are in place. The second thing to look at is how the walls of the buildings are constructed. Post frame construction uses dimensional lumber to tie the building together from one wall and one post to each other. Post and beam construction ties the post with beams that go between them and those types of beams are then held together with steel brackets. Post frame construction doesn't show the framing in the finished product if it's finished on the inside. Post and beam construction uses a higher grade of material and the beams and the posts actually become an integral part of the interior and are used to highlight the building itself. Now there's some advantages to each method. One of the big disadvantages of post frame construction in the past was that they had a limited life expectancy, oftentimes 50 years. But in today's modern construction method, using ways of protecting the posts from the surface of the ground or using masonry in order to put anchors. Post beam construction is also durable by design and can be expected to last a long, long time. So that difference between life expectancy between the two different kinds of structures has been greatly negated over the last couple of years. The advantage of post beam construction is the looks. It's a beautiful looking structure when it's done there's no comparison in a post frame structure to post beam. So if aesthetics are important to you, then post beam construction is the way to go. The disadvantage of post and beam construction is that it's gonna come at a much higher cost than using post frame construction. Post frame construction has the advantage of the fact that it's quick to build and it's relatively inexpensive. One of our viewers has a post and beam house and here are some slides showing the interior of that building. Next, we're gonna have a conversation with an expert and we're gonna talk about the difference between post and beam construction and timber frame construction. I hope you join us then. Thanks for watching.